In this video, we will demonstrate how to calibrate your Digital Integrated Multi-Sensor, or DISM, on the Iponic 614 and 624 controllers. Now, the sensor calibration feature allows you to change your sensor readings that's displayed on the home screen to ensure that the readings are consistent, accurate, and reliable. Now, to do this, you would simply do the following. From the home screen, you would hit the OK button, then three system setup, then three again sensor setup. Now, in the sensor settings screen, you want to go to the advanced button number two, and then in sensor setup, you have two calibrating options. You have manual calibration button number two, and you have auto calibrate CO2 button number eight. Now, to auto calibrate CO2, this option allows you to calibrate your sensor with ambient levels of outside CO2. Now, to achieve this, you would place your sensor basically outside in an open area and then press start. Now, note, the process takes about 10 minutes to do. Once you hit start, the countdown commences. Now after 10 minutes, once finished, a banner will pop up stating that your sensor has been auto calibrated. And what that does, just simply hit the OK button. Next we'll go into the manual calibration screen button number two. Now in the manual calibration screen, the sensor calibration options allows you to manually adjust your sensor. The raw value column is the direct reading from the sensor itself. The cal value is added to the raw value to generate the adjusted value. And the adjusted value will reflect the status screen the sensor readings on the home screen. So if you see right now, raw is 73.3, cal zero and adjust is 73.3. If I want my sensor on the home screen to read 74, I would simply do the following. Now to navigate within this screen, previous and next allows you to navigate and to edit a certain cal field, Press the number three button, edit. And what we want to do is increase this temperature reading 7.7 .7 degrees Fahrenheit to change the adjust to 74. If hitting home, save changes. Our sensor reading at the home screen now reads 74. We're going to go back into the programming and change that back. And to change it, all you do is simply make this zero and hit OK. When you're done doing all your changes, all you have to do is hit the home button, which will prompt you to save. Now with the 624, to calibrate your sensors, you would do the following. Hit the OK button, then you'd go to System Setup, and then you would go to Sensor Setup. And in the Sensor Setup screen, you can see it's a little bit more complex because there's two sensors on this controller. But well, we want to go ahead and go to Advanced Settings, button number four. Now in this screen, you have three calibration options. You have Manual Calibration, you have Auto Calibrate CO2, and you have Sensor to Sensor Calibration. Now, the Auto Calibrate CO2 option is similar to the 614, but with this one, it also gives you an option to do either one or two or both sensors simultaneously, which is recommended. And we're going to go ahead and do neither right now because we did it with the 614. But there's also Sensor to Sensor Calibration button number five and it basically calibrates the sensors simultaneously but they must both be in the same environment for five minutes to do so. 
but once you have them in the same environment just go ahead and hit OK and it's pretty quick to do this option but by doing it if you look at the home screen the values are pretty similar now when it comes to manual calibration it's a little bit more complex previous and next allows you to navigate between the different sensors in both rooms and uh, to edit all you have to do is simply hit the edit button menu will clockwise or counterclockwise hit OK to save your changes simply hit the home button and it will prompt you to save and just hit OK and that's our video in calibrating your digital integrated multi-sensors on the Iponic 614 and Iponic 624 controllers.